There was a time in our lives when we all believed in the existence of guardian angels. Did your parents tell you that if you are a good child you will have a beautiful guardian angel looking after you and keeping you out of any danger? This method is a popular way for parents to tell their children to behave and listen to your elders. The question concerning guardian angels is do they exist and what are they? We all have a preconceived idea on what they are. They're people who believe that they are just like the biblical angels of the Bible. They have wings and they help people. Though, in fact, the earliest recognized Christian appearance of angel depicted in the Cubicolo della Annunziation in the Catacomb of Priscilla, around mid-3rd century AD, is wingless. The sarcophagus of Junius Bassus, senator of Rome who died in 359 AD, also has wingless angels from the sacrifice of Isaac seen depicted on it, though the side view of the sarcophagus has winged angels on it. Nevertheless, People who believe in biblical angels see these sentient life forces as being put here on earth by God to each person to serve as their guide and protector. Though, personally I believe that guardian angels are our higher mind. They go beyond our conscious and unconscious mind. Angels, in my opinion, are what makes us us. It is the part of our consciousness that makes us aware of everything around us. It makes us feel spiritual and gives us the ability to forgive our enemies which in turn makes us better people. The higher mind gives us intuition and foresight into any given situation and problem that may be plighting us and helps us solve it. Please, remember this is my opinion and every human being has an opinion. Your idea on what angels are may be completely different from mine. Some stories portray them to be the soul of someone beloved to the character that chose to be their guardian when they are in spirit form. Some stories inform us that angels live among people. These angels flourish and go where individuals go. Also there are stories that seem to be founded on profound investigation about the subject. There is also the general idea that angels prosper in time-worn public libraries to get energies from the place that also serve as their assembly residence. Whatever these stories mean to you, you will collect a lot of people's understandings, particularly those that have experienced awful loss or near-death accidents and deadly accidents. Though, it is thought by various people, that your angel will be really sensed when you are fronting profound anxiety and you sense like you do not have anybody to go to. Therefore the idea that you are opening to the awareness of guardian angels is already something that you must be pleased about. If you want, you can even share this idea with your children to let them be alert that angels may be real. Though, because you believe in angels does not mean your children will think the same, so do not be disappointed if they do not share your idea on what a guardian angel is and if they exist. Remember, each to their own ideas, 